Welcome back, everyone, to the week of Taurus Talk here at SG Taurus. I'm your host, Matt LePan. Once again, this week, we're going to be talking Run True as we continue our discussion on Run True by Train and some of the products we're going to get into today. To do so, first, we're going to welcome back Patrick Van Deventer, the manager of value outdoor equipment at Ingersoll Moran. Patrick, welcome back to Taurus Talk. Glad to have you on again. Hey, Matt. Thanks. Good to be back. And joining him today is going to be Clifton Lindsay, the new product development manager for air conditioners and heat pump engineering over at Ingersoll Rand. Clifton, great to meet you. Great to have you on Taurus Talk. Thank you again for joining us. Yes, thanks for having me. I'm glad to be able to talk a little bit about Run True today. I've been with uh, Ingersoll Rand Train for 10 years now, and I led the team that developed the uh, Run True Outdoor product. So it's great to have Clifton on. As you can hear, he's very intimately involved with the entire process of Run True by Train. And today with Patrick and Clifton, we're going to be talking about outdoor units for Run True by Train. That includes air conditioners and heat pumps. Two great folks to have on. Patrick, we'll start with you. When Run True by Train is rolled out to customers, what outdoor units are going to be available for these customers? Run True by Train outdoor units are going to launch with three model families consisting of a line of 13 sear air conditioners, 14 sear air conditioners, and 14 sear heat pumps. And all of those lines are going to have models from one and a half tons up to five tons. So when you're looking at these, like you said, 13 sear and 14 sear condensers and 14 sear heat pump, what efficiency are these going to be able to achieve? Yeah, definitely. There'll they'll be a pretty broad range of efficiencies capable for these outdoor units. So the 13 sear AC line, when matched with a run-through furnace, will achieve many options of the 14 sear. The 14 sear air conditioners with furnaces will achieve up to 15 sear and 12 and a half EER. Uh, and then our heat pumps with air handlers are more in the 14 to 14 and a half SEER rating range. However, for dual fuel applications, they're able to also achieve up to 15 SEER, and we'll have many eight and a half HSPF matches with our heat pumps as well, both on the air handler and the dual fuel furnace matchup side. And actually, all of those ratings are available now to either search or download on AHRI's website or on Train's Comfort Site portal. And for our customers listening here on Taurus Talk, all these matchups are going to be available on our system selection tool. We've touched on that here on the podcast, or you can reach out to your TM to discuss that tool, but all these will be available on there as well. Those efficiency ratings are really, they're, they're great, especially for you know value product. But a lot of folks, they don't sell it necessarily based when a dealer's at the kitchen table. They're not necessarily selling it based on the efficiency ratings. What are some of the key components that these units will have that will make it stand out from other value market equipment? Well, first of all, they have an all aluminum coil that will help with life and corrosion resistance, and it has a durable cabinet that will protect that coil. We also employed high and low pressure cutouts to protect the compressor, and it has quiet fans and compressors with sound levels in the 74 to 76 dBA range. The wire fan grill and the deep draw orifice also help keep the sound levels down, but also help with efficiency. And we also have on some of the smaller tonnages, smaller footprints that will help, especially in uh, RMC, places like that where there's a tight fit. And an additional benefit is many of these components uh, for replacement will be the same as what is used today for train, such as fan blades and motors and switch over valves. That's such a huge piece right there. You know, it's Patrick and I had touched on that in our prior podcast. Essentially, you can take what's in your truck and use that it's not like you have to go out and buy specific parts for this a lot of the stuff that these guys are already buying they can you know are compatible and it really changes how they can buy things uh clifton just just real quick following up on some of the stuff there that you had mentioned when you talk about the quiet fan and compressor how does what run true by train is going to be at you know the 74 to 76 dbas that you mentioned compared to some of the, not just the value market stuff, but some of the higher end stuff as well, your regular train equipment. It, it seems like it's a very quiet operation for these run through pieces of equipment. Yeah, the sound levels will be very comparable to what you would see in some of the uh, premium units. And so as far as the value, I believe it'll compete very well and be one of the quietest units in the value market. Now you also touched on the smaller footprint. This is something that 
in talking with some of the folks around here at SG Taurus as we start to learn more and more about Run True by Train is really, you know, one of the things that's very impressive and something that I think dealers are really going to like. What is the footprint of these units and why was that such an important focus when developing the Run True by Train product line? So the main reason that we wanted to focus on the smaller units was for ease of installation. Like I was talking about a little bit earlier, especially in some of the uh, RNC or multifamily installations, the space is limited. So these new models are approximately three inches narrower than the equivalent train product. The new smaller footprints, if you'll notice, they'll have a, an odd number in the capacity, such as 17 or uh, 23. And the uh, one and a half and two ton options are you know, right around 24 by 24. The other thing that was important was the service valves. We, we also made sure that they have uh, plenty of ground clearance and they have an angled service port to make the installation also easier. We've touched on it a couple times, whether it be here or in prior podcasts. The entire process of engineering run through by train seems to have been taken not just to develop a superior product in terms of what's on the value market, but it also was developed really with the contractor in mind and the installation technician in mind. You touched on it there with the, the service valves and the the angled ports and everything. Can you touch a little bit on how the design of these outdoor units, whether it be the ACs or the heat pumps, really makes things a lot easier for the guys that are out there servicing them? Yeah, with the, the smaller footprint, you know, not only will it be lighter, but like I was saying, it'll be able to fit into some uh, tighter bases. We have fewer pieces, so hopefully that would uh, make any kind of service be or installation uh, be quicker. I would add also the wire grill on top, for example, is a wire grill, and I believe there's eight screws. The wire grill is a removable piece that makes it easy to access the inside of the unit, so you can pull that off rather than having to remove the full top. You know, like Clifton mentioned, it's a small footprint, so it gives more room around the unit to actually get around and work on it in a service environment. And really having a spine fin in these models really kind of reduces the need to clean the coil as often as a traditional plate fin coil, just because it doesn't deal with all of the dust loading issues that a typical tube fin coil experiences. And so that definitely helps. And really to kind of hit on what Clifton pointed out, I mean, they really did, the engineering team did a really good job at taking a lot of the feedback we got from the Ameristar product line that dealers really loved and capturing the good things about that product line with the development that they worked on. So for example, uh, having the units in those footprints under 24 inch by 24 inch was key because we know that enables a lot of additional applications that they can be installed in, particularly multifamily RNC. Also the really quiet Ameristar units have similar sound rating, so that was that was a benefit that we wanted to maintain in this line as we manufactured ourselves. Oh, and the really the durable cabinet too. So not all value products have a cabinet that's really going to protect the coil, but the run through cabinet is uh, steel, wraps all the way around, it's really robust. And so, you know, for peace of mind to the homeowner, the end user, I mean, it's going to protect it from any kind of you know, objects, weed eaters, mowers, kids, baseballs that, you know, could bump in and really damage a coil on, on, a, on a cheaper made product. And so it gives homeowners and, you know, rich property owners just that additional peace of mind that that unit's going to be protected and last longer than other value products. Yeah, and you kind of took two of the big points I was about to ask you about there. The spine fin coil, the all aluminum spine fin, and then the, the cabinet really being almost as strong, really, if you look at it, it's probably as strong, if not stronger, than a lot of the quote-unquote premium brands out there outside of the Ingersoll Rand family. And putting that in a value unit with the spine fin coil really just, again, it takes these outdoor units and it makes them just that much better, especially for the value market. Again, we we know what market we're working in, but some of these kind of higher-end features in the value market really kind of changes the game and makes Run True by Train a, a really great option especially with everything else we've touched on here. Now, Patrick, while the rollout is going to have the 13-14 seer condensers and the 14 seer heat pump, you guys aren't done innovating and going forward with the line. What should dealers expect in the near future with the outdoor units at Run True by Train? We do have additional 16 seer models planned coming later in Q2 of 2020. 
And so we're going to have a new line of air conditioners and heat pumps that rate up to 16 here. So we've definitely hit the ground running with our 13 and 14 tier models. That's where the bulk of really the value entry level segment is at. It helps us get to market quicker. Um, but we're really, really looking forward to extending that product line uh, because we really believe that 16 tier will help us and our dealers and, and, and partners to open up additional opportunities, particularly within r and markets, achieve more utility driver incentives, and also give that upsell option when dealers are, are using a value brand and, and they'd like that upsell option to a higher efficiency. Patrick, if people want more information on the outdoor units that are put up from run true by train, where can they get that information and what's available for folks out there right now? Yeah, so a great place to start would be to go to the Run True website. That's uh, runtruehvac.com. Again, that's R-U-N-T-R-U-H-V-A-C.com. Uh, there you can find a lot of great information about the product. It's a really good-looking website. One of the best parts of that website is that uh, dealers and contractors can go on there and find all of the technical literature for Run True products, such as installation guides and really learn a lot more about the product and see it uh, without any kind of login. So definitely encourage those wanting to get more familiar with the product line to go check it out. Great, and thanks, guys. Again, it's Patrick Van Deventer, the manager of Value Outdoor Equipment, running your solve and Clifton Lindsay, the new product development manager for air conditioners and heat pump engineering over at Ingersoll Rand. These two guys know everything there is to know about outdoor units at Run True by Train. That's why we had them on. We want to thank them for coming on. We want to thank everybody out there for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, anywhere you can find a podcast, you can find us. Just search Taurus Talk. Follow along on social media. Search SG Taurus on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or LinkedIn. You can find us or use the hashtag Taurus Talk. And as always, you can catch all of our podcasts on our website, sgtaurus.com backslash podcasts. I want to thank you again for tuning in. We'll see you next week on Taurus Talk.